there, my sweet friends. I hope you are all well. Today I have a haul to share and I've not been picking up new collections for a while as I've really committed to working through some of my stash. Looking back, I think I haven't ordered anything new since my 13 days of Halloween series, which was back in September. So it's definitely been a bit. Also, to be honest, I haven't liked a lot of the new designs so much, but I did find some that I love for this video and I ordered from scrapbook.com and also Amazon. Most of them are hits, two are misses, and I'll share why when I get to that part. I have mostly paper and two stamp sets, and I'll link everything in the description if you wanna check it out. Let me know in the comments what is your favorite from my haul also, what is the collection that you love that you would most consider picking up? And I always enjoy reading your recommendations, so I'm looking forward to your feedback. Now let's get into that haul. I'm going to start with the C La Vie from P13, and I think this is just so sweet. It is an article, but I think it's kind of chic as well. It isn't overly themey, so I think this will be a lot of fun to play with. And I always really love the quality of the paper from P13. They also have have the great cut aparts and I always really enjoy fussy cutting these out to make them look like ephemera. It's sort of relaxing to me. It's sort of busy work and so I really like that and so this just has a nice collection of wood grains and some tropical kind of uh, fish but it is very neutral and as I mentioned it's kind of chic as well. So I think this will be perfect for a mini album or something where I can bring all of these papers into one project. I've got Millie's Garden from Paper Rose, and this is the first time I have ordered their papers. I have quite a few of their dies and I really like them, and I just wanted to see what the quality of the paper would be, and I am so impressed. This, first of all, is a stunning collection, and even though I feel like my style is evolving a little bit. I do really love these vintage -y inspired florals. So that really kind of drew me into this and the palette is absolutely stunning as well. And then when I got into this package, I really feel like this is a nice quality paper, obviously, but it has this cut apart sheet with all of these sentiments. So I think this is gonna add a lot of fun details to cards. I can just cut these strips and then use Use my banner dies to clip these out so they will have a nice shape and some extra added detail because most of them have stitching on them. So I think this will be a great way to add my sentiments and detail for these cards. Now let's get into the patterns. Oh my stars, these are absolutely so beautiful. This paper is a little bit glossy and so that is something to keep in mind. But I think these patterns are so pretty. There is a cut apart sheet here included and they're mostly just tags but they do have some additional sentiments that you can incorporate and so this is going to be perfect for layering and once I said that palette was very spring inspired but I think you could easily work that into summer as well and this one has a beautiful non-contrasting dot pattern so that will be perfect I wish there were two of each pattern so I didn't have to decide which side is my favorite. This one is absolutely stunning. I am in love with this pattern. It will be very difficult to decide to cut into that. Um, and some of them are a little bit large, but that's okay if you're covering a bigger page if you're making a mini album and then you can really appreciate what that pattern is about, even if you cut into it. Okay, so now I'm going through here and I am noticing there is a double, so I'm happy about that because I definitely like both the A and B side of this pattern. I will for sure order Paper Rose Collection again, and this is my surprise collection because I just wasn't sure, and I am really impressed with it. So this one is a win. I will never not love the Simple Stories collections. This year, these larger florals are really speaking to me, especially when combined with those geometrics. I always love how Simple Stories has a nice selection of cut aparts as well. So there are opportunities to use this for your tip-ins or your focal images. Isn't that absolutely beautiful? I think when I do my next order, 
which will be for Christmas in July. I will probably consider picking this up as a six by six or a six by eight, just so that I can have these same patterns, but in a smaller scale. And I think those are gonna be perfect for layering for cards. And so here's some of those cut aparts. Now, all of these are not like my favorite, but when you consider layering them, it adds a lot of depth and dimension and detail. So you're gonna be able to get a lot of use out of these. And of course, they're blank on the back. So you can add those for journaling or as layering. And this one, of course, the Simple Stories does have a nice selection of different sizes of cut apart. So it will work well for whatever project that you're working on. And this is a beautiful palette with blues and pinks and this vintage yellow. So I'm very happy with that. Of course, this is going to come with a sticker sheet and I do enjoy layering those as well. I do tend to save some of the sentiments for my traveler notebook for my own personal use, but I will be able to use some of these in my projects for sure. I got the Farmhouse Summer from Cartabella here, and I really love this. It's bright and cheerful. Still has that same combination of large florals with geometric, so I think this is going to be perfect for layering. And the quality of Cartabella is always so nice. The texture on this makes it feel thicker. In fact, when I opened that box, this is the one that felt more substantial, the thickest package, even though it has the same amount of pages. And so you know that it's going to be good quality of paper. And the print is really nice as well. They have a couple of fun little cut of parts included, but how can I use that side when this one is so beautiful? So that will be my choice to see if I can incorporate all of these fun different patterns. They're very farm inspired, but in a chic way, it's sort of updated. And so I think this is going to be a lot of fun to use. And I always love plaids. I think they're so sweet and combined with those focal images, this is going to be great. Now I have seen this before, but I think this is fun. There are some additional sentiment strips here, but you'd have to cut them out instead of being a sticker. And that's fine because these tend to be a little thicker. And so when you're layering things, you don't have to add them to separate piece of cardstock and cut them back out so that you don't show the lumps of the layers. If you know what I mean, this will be a nice addition without additional work being done. And so this is just continuing on with all of these pretty florals and geometrics and some of them probably not my style but on the back side is so this will be perfect and this one also comes with a sticker sheet they are very sweet not like um, larger stickers but these are perfect for layering so that will be great to add detail for a focal image now I've got this Summer Vibes collection. It might surprise some of you that I picked this one considering how much I love my florals and my vintage inspired patterns, but this is so retro. That color palette is everything. It just reminds me of a fun summer day at the beach. And so I love this. Now these are going to be a great selection of cut aparts and of course those patterns that go together. This one has the two by two cut apart squares. Those are really fun to add to a uh, A2 size card. They're just a good scale for that. But I'm just gonna flip through here real quickly to show you that they do have the three by four, the four by four and the larger cut apart images. So this is absolutely fabulous. And this sticker sheet is so much fun. Look at that old car and the shark and the sunglasses. So I'm really looking forward to making something fun and maybe a little more whimsical than I usually create. Here's another Echo Park collection. And instead of going for the full 12 by 12 collection pack, I decided to go for the six by six paper pad and then add on the full size cut apart sheet because I'm not sure that I would use the full collection and I'm trying to be much more aware of how much I'm adding to my stash when I am not sure I'm going to use it all. So this will definitely work. I didn't take the tape off here. Maybe I should do that real quick. Um, I like the scale of the six by six papers. So those are going to be really good for layering. And then I'll still be able to have the full size focal images because I picked up 
that full size sheet. So this is just going to be perfect for mini albums because I've got quite a lot of variety in here. And then I also picked up the full size plaid because I think that will work well for a cover on the outside. And I want to make sure that I have enough to cover the whole uh, front and back if I do a mini album. So I picked that full size sheet up. So this is going to be fun for my summer holiday inspired projects. So that's all that I picked up from scrapbook.com and now I'm moving on to Amazon. Now this is not a newer collection but I really loved it and I just picked it up for the convenience of not having to pay for shipping and it came very quickly. So that's kind of a trade-off but while I wasn't creating with new collections this one did come out and I did want to make sure that I picked it up and I am a camper. Well, my tech hubby and I are, are veers, I should say. If you are OG uh, crew, you would know that we love to take our camper to the lake and spend a lot of time outside. And so this collection really speaks to me, as well as the fact that it has a lot of plaid in it, and that's always going to be my favorite. I'm going to flip through all of these, um, but look how fun those campers are. Still going to have all my cut apart, kind of have all those plaids. And this one, oh my gosh, look at that. I can't wait to use that. This one has the sticker sheet as well, and so I can do some fun layering with this. I'm going to get into the collections that I kind of think are a miss. Now, I like them. I will use them. I ordered them very specifically because I wanted to see what the quality of the paper was. And I do like them. Um, but for what I paid for these, I could have picked up a 6 by 6 paper pad from scrapbook.com. And so I have a specific plan for these, and so I'm not sad that I ordered them, but I probably won't go back to this brand again, um, just because this is single-sided paper, which I knew from the description in its okay thickness. Um, there's only 28 sheets here, though, so it doesn't seem like the best value for this, but I did pick this one up specifically to go with a printable that I just created with cute little squirrels on it. And so I think this was going to be a perfect match. And then this one, I really loved that there was a nice variety of those florals along with a coordinating geometric. So these are going to be perfect for cards. And like I said, it's okay quality. I wouldn't buy them again, but I'll have no trouble using them. And so I think this will be a great way to create some cards. I did want to try it. You know, you just never know what you're going to get until you have it in your hands. And so this was just a uh, experiment to see how that was going to go. When I see that I have missed these two stamps, which should have been added in the portion for the scrapbook.com order, I ordered one of them and I picked up one of these as a gift with purchase. And I'm not sure which one was which, but that's okay because I like both. I really like to have these chunkier sentiments to add to my cards. So I think these are going to work great for my collection. Now that I've shared all of my collections, that's going to be it for today. And I cannot wait to get upstairs and cut into this new paper. So if you enjoyed this haul, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And I'm wishing all of you a happy and productive day. And I thank you so much for watching. Bye.